I know. <laughs> Scratches. Scratches. Okay, I got a video to do. This is important. This is important. There's stuff happening and people want to know this stuff. Okay? Okay? Go bye. Go play. All right. So, the Intense Fire and Matchup Black Pearl were the latest releases back in June. It's only been a couple months, but with the High Road Nano back in December being the latest Thunderline release and the Masterline due for a release as well, I started to get some questions about what's coming next and when it's coming, so I sent Chad McLean, Storm's technical director, something asking if there was anything that he could give me uh, about new releases, any clues, teasers, anything. But he sent me something, and this is the statement that he sent me to release. This fall, we'll pay homage to one of the all-time greats, as well as introduce something that is probably the most iconic Hallmark Storm has ever produced. So, to start with, this is the first of any kind of information related to new releases. It came from the top, and I'm super excited to be the one to announce it. Now, since it came from Chad, it's obviously not a rumor. It's not conjecture. That's what we get to do now, so let's tear this thing apart. Uh, November is the 10-year anniversary of the High Road, so some kind of special edition High Road is, is kind of an absolute no-brainer at this point. We're due for a new hybrid in the Thunderline anyway, or really anything shiny in the Thunderline, so I really should have seen that coming. Now, if you put R3S Hybrid on that core, I'm going to lose my mind, because R3S Hybrid is a High Road reaction through and through, in my mind anyway, but one that can handle the volumes and the viscosities of the current game. Uh, not like the OG can't do that, but this amps it up and updates it while still staying true to the ball motion type of reaction. Uh, we just th we just saw R3S Hybrid on the Intense Fire, of course. I'm just I'm a big fan of that cover. Period. Uh, of course, it would be equally as cool if they were to put R2X Hybrid on that core and name it the High Road X. X, of course, being the Roman numeral for ten, and High Road X being a badass name to begin with. Uh, probably the most notable or memorable ball the R2X Hybrid was on was the Virtual Energy. And the X in the cover name really just kind of adds to the whole the whole angle there too. So now I'd also be just as happy with R2X Pearl uh, because that's what's on the Marvel Pearl and was on the Optimus, so all good things there. But the High Road was a hybrid, so that's the basket that I'm putting all my, my eggs in as far as that goes. Now the next part is really kind of a mystery. They're introducing something that's also an iconic hallmark, so my first thought is that whatever it is will make you automatically think Classic Storm done in a contemporary way. I had a few thoughts on that too. Now at first I thought it was, um, at first I thought it was a separate ball, and all and of course all kinds of stuff came up like a new El Nino or a new X Factor, something that's like vintage iconic Storm updated. But later I thought the whole state, the, the the whole thing, the whole statement might have been about a 10th anniversary high road with a new evolution of core or cover, and you know the kind of the whole package. Now given that he said. Uh, as well in the statement instead of and it could read a couple different ways it could read like they're like they're both paying homage and introducing a new twist at the same time in the same ball or it could read as both paying tribute to the high road and dropping something entirely new so following that second rabbit trail we're due for a new master line ball too the last one was the sonic and if we're thinking about an iconic hallmark most of the stuff that Storm has released that people really remember or what they're known for or, you know, what they really think of as iconic has been released in the master line. Now, I realize at one time that that was kind of their top of the line before they uh, introduced the Premier line with the release of the Paradigm. I think it was the Paradigm that they introduced the Premier line with in 2005. But when you think Storm Bowling, you think El Nino's, Traumas, X-Factors, IQs, Marvels, all of which have been in the master line. So releasing the next technological evolution in the master line would kind of follow that theme. Now I was trying to dig back and see what the last hybrid was in the master line and it might actually be the IQ Torque Fusion because I just don't even remember any other kind of hybrid being there. Uh, the last balls I remember are the Optimus, the Optimus Solid, the Phase, the Phase 2, Marvel Pro re-release, and the Sonic here. So unless I'm just drawing a massive blank I don't remember having a hybrid master line ball for the last several years. We're way overdue for a master line hybrid any way that you want to look at it. So, next, if you go back to Storm's video they made about balance holes and fast forward to six minutes and six seconds, and don't worry about it now because I, I took screenshots and put them up here. 
Uh, you'll see a ball hiding back there behind Chad Stallone's guns, and I, I think the camera placement was intentional because when I shared the video initially, he asked me if I saw the Easter egg. I went back and watched the video repeatedly, and did I did see the ball kind of hiding behind him, but uh, it wasn't a good enough look for me to really consider it much of anything. It was just kind of... It is kind of an eraser banshee looking half of a ball, but I didn't see anything else anywhere in the rest of the video. And I think it has been somewhat confirmed that the ball was in fact the Easter egg he was talking about. Now, do I expect that to be a two color shiny high road? Not really. When you think of high road, you don't think of bright yellow and orange. Most of the, uh, the regular stateside high road releases have been darker colors. Uh, so that would lend more to the theory that Chad is actually talking about two separate balls. What we do know now though, or at least think that we know, is that a special edition High Road release is coming. It's coming in November, probably to the actual day that the original got released, meaning we'll likely have official information two to three weeks. I'll have my hands on it in mid October, mid to late October-ish for a November release of that one. And as far as the second part of the statement goes, it could really be all kinds of things. Could be something new happening with the High Road. It could be something completely new and altogether separate. It could be kind of a throwback thing. Uh, but the bottom line here is that they very rarely release one ball at a time. So the direction that I'm leaning, or kind of my conclusions here, is that we're getting two different balls. One is a special edition High Road and a new legend in the Master line. Either way, thanks Chad for the little nugget. I'm sure that we'll, uh, spend, we'll spend the next several weeks debating the possibilities and endlessly dissecting the uh, statement that you sent. And I think it was just enough to point us in the right direction without really spoiling anything yet. Now, uh, for those of you who might be upset that this is all hype and no real information, that's exactly what it is. And uh, it, it is, however, fun as hell. And uh, as I've said numerous times, bowling's supposed to be fun. And even if you suck at it, at least you get to throw cool looking, great smelling balls. So uh, that's what I've got for now. Share this, pass it around, tell your friends, and we'll see you on the next one.